Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna start uh, a three video series. This is the first video of that series. The series is basic of AutoCAD for beginners. In these videos we are gonna learn AutoCAD for beginners. Uh, what we are gonna learn in these videos is uh, the introduction to the interface, basic drawing tools, basic editing tools, dimensions and annotations, exporting and printing drawings. Uh, so let's start with the first video. Uh, this is the interface of AutoCAD when you open AutoCAD. Okay, over here, this is our application button. When we press this button, uh, a menu opens, a basic menu for save, save as, import, export, things like these. Okay, uh, these are our tabs. Uh, this is home tab, insert, annotate. And whenever we press a tab, a ribbon underneath it change, the changes. This is the ribbon. Uh, that comes when clicking these tabs. In these ribbons, we have different draw commands that we are gonna use in AutoCAD. Okay, over here, this is our basic drawing area where we are gonna make all our drawings. Below, over here, this is our command line. Whatever command we're gonna give to AutoCAD, it's gonna be shown in this command line. Uh, underneath that, over here, we have our status bar toggles. Uh, okay, so let's start drawing. Uh, first of all, whenever you open AutoCAD, it is very important to f uh, to set the units first. Uh, you're, we're gonna we are gonna do that by pressing U and and enter from our keyboard, and this dialog box will appears. Okay, uh, over here, this is asking about our units. Uh, the we click it, and different units are available in AutoCAD. Uh, we're gonna keep it to inches for now so I'm gonna just click inches and set my units to inches over here there are some other options it's us ask, it's asking about engineering decimal architecture uh, we're gonna stick to decimal for now and over here it's still asking about the precision so I'll just reduce the precision to 0, 0.000 over here and I'm gonna click, click OK now so now our units are set to inches which means that when I'm going to make a line of 100 units, the line will be of 100 inches. If I would have changed my units to something else, then the line would have been to that particular unit style. Okay, so let's start by making our first line. Uh, over here, uh, we have the line command. So we're going to click on the right line command with our mouse and we're going to bring the cursor on the drawing area and click anywhere on the screen like this. Okay, so you see a line is starting to be made with my cursor. So I'm gonna just click somewhere on the screen and uh, complete the line like this. Uh, now you see the line is still more uh, being made with my cursor. So I'm gonna continue making a few more random lines. Once I'm done with it, I'm just gonna play, click uh, press enter from my keyboard and the line command will be uh, finished. So you see I have made three diff four different lines using the line command. Next we're gonna learn how to navigate within our drawing area. Now that we have made the line how are we going to navigate? Okay so using AutoCAD it is recommended to use a mouse with a scroll wheel on it. So I'm going to press the scroll wheel of my mouse and you see my cursor has changed into a hand. Now I'm gonna move my mouse and the drawing is being panned in the screen. This is how you can pan around in a drawing in AutoCAD. Okay, now if we want to zoom in or zoom out in the drawing, all we need to do is move uh, move the scroll uh, scroll wheel and I will start to zoom in. And now, now I'm gonna move it to the other side and I'm going to scroll out of the drawing. Next, we're gonna learn selection and del delete objects. Uh, first, let's learn how to select an object. Uh, there are two three ways to select an object in AutoCAD. Um, the first and the easiest most is to click on that uh, particular object that we want to select. For example, I want to select this line. I'm just going to click on it and you see the line is selected. I want to select another line. I'm going to click on that line again. In order to deselect any object, I'm simply going to press the escape key. Now, if we want to select multiple objects at the same time, we are going to use the selection window. Uh, in order to use, there are two types of selection windows. One is the green selection window and one is the blue selection window. First, we're gonna use the blue selection window. 
I'm going to click any, any, anywhere on the screen and I'm going to uh, move my cursor around and you see there's a window being made with my cursor. I engulf the entire line that I want to select or rather the two lines that I want to select with, within that uh, window and then I'm going to click again and you see both these lines are selected. In order to deselect th these lines again, we're going to press the escape key. So this was the blue window. Now we're going to learn about the green window. Uh, the, the, in order to use the green window again, we're going to click on the screen and then move our cursor towards the left. For the blue window, we moved it towards the right, right side and for the green one, we're going to move it towards the left. So the difference in the blue and green window is that I don't need to engulf the entire lines within that window. I'm just going to select part of those lines within that window and click OK and these lines are selected. Uh, however, if I, I use the same technique with the blue window, these won't be selected. I need to engulf the entire lines in the blue window to select them. And in this green window, I just need to engulf a part of the lines and they will be selected. Okay, so once the line is selected, I want to delete these lines. Um, very simply, I'll just select these lines and then press the delete key and the lines will be deleted. So let's just clear some space and delete the other lines as well by using the selection window we just learned and then clicking the delete button. Okay, now we're going to learn how to make precise lines using dimensions in AutoCAD. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to again use the line key, line command over here and click anywhere on the screen. Now I'm going to give uh, a dimension or a unit to the line. So I'm going to press 100 and uh, you can see it below in the command line, 100 is typed. Now I'm going to just uh, give direction to the line and then I'm going to press OK. Uh, okay, you see the line is too big so I'm going to zoom out a bit and now we can see it. So this is a line of 100 units, 100 units as we said the units to inches. So basically this is a line of 100 inches. Now that I want to try out these lines by making a rectangle on the screen. So let's just see, I made a line of 100 units over here. So I'm going to make another line of uh, over here of 50 units. So I'm going to select, may click the line command and I'm going to type 50 and press enter and I'm going to zoom out a little again. So you see a line of 100 units, then a line of 50 units. So let's just complete this rectangle by making another line of uh, 100 units over here. Press type 100 and enter. And I'm going to make another line of uh, 50 units over here. So I'm going to press 50 and click enter. And you see I've made a rectangle using precise dimensions in AutoCAD. So now that you have learned how to make lines, uh, using the line command, I would recommend you to try out these other drawing commands on your own. I'm going to make separate videos on each of them, uh, very detailed videos teaching you how to use these commands, uh, each and every uh, detail about it. But right now, as this is a beginner's video, so I just want you to explore on your own. So for example, this circle command, I just click on it and click over here and you see you can make a circle like this. Maybe explore the arc command, click on the screen again and you see you're making an arcs over here. We uh, try these uh, other commands as well. So just try with try these commands and try to make a, an interesting composition on the screen. Uh, I would like you guys to make a composition because uh, in the next video we are going to learn how to edit that composition and make it more presentable. Okay, so just make a beautiful composition. I'll just make one here for myself like something random I'm just uh, using my mouse to uh, I don't know maybe some face this may be some kind of a robotic thing I am pretty bad at drawing I guess so well whatever I think this is a an okay composition like uh, this maybe okay uh, like this uh, something like this okay just make your own composition and uh, save the file uh, let me just teach you how to save the file. You can either go it, save it from here, but uh, the easier way, the shortcut command is Control S. Just press Control S and save the file anywhere on the screen. I'll just name it uh, AutoCAD and I'll click Save and my drawing is saved. Now I'll just keep using the Control S button to keep saving it again and again while we're making the drawings. 
So make your composition and switch on towards the next video. Thank you.